Zemi of Starlock, JPIA. I am here with Adam Newman, finally. And um, we're going to ask him some questions. So we get the premium color Super Saiyan Vegeta and are delighted we are actually getting more than the original. Um, then we get Trunks and we're actually getting significantly less than the original and more importantly, omission of parts that many fans consider essential to the character. Can you elaborate to us what was the reason behind this decision? Uh, probably increased production costs and now that we have a lot of chains that we're... Like a lot of these re... Well, so there's the version 2 of Goku, but a lot of these recolorings uh, were a way that we could break our policy of uh, we have a web exclusive, we can't do a reissue on it, so we got to make a new product. We have super high demand and we want to reach more people, not just the core fans who I'm sure are asking these questions, but engage new fans. And the way to do that is to go through new retail mediums like Barnes & Noble where we have a display at like over 440 stores. Um, and we're reaching out to these national chains, never mass of course, but you know specialty Absolutely. chains. And we needed to get them something. Um, so I mean, and, and the US is determining this. So of course we upset the core fans, but we're, we're talking about this was made for new fans. So we, we knew about like some of these issues and yeah, of course in, in hindsight, probably I think some of these should have been included and we shouldn't have worried about you know, the price point or anything like that because one of the things that we're starting to learn is that even the new consumer, especially in Barnes & Noble where we have the stuff behind glass, is starting to understand the value of, you know, how you, they will buy a six inch figure at $50 plus. Um, so we're, in hindsight, we know that now. It's not like it's an impulse buy, but we know we could get new fans involved and to, to understand the value so that, yeah, we probably should, more sometimes is better than less. Um, and, and we weren't sure in the beginning, but now I think we know that even for new demographics, it's probably a good idea to put more in there. Um, so it's a win-win, I guess, for from now on. Of course, awesome. Um, Dragon Ball Super airing right now. A lot of Dragon Ball figures are now suddenly becoming regular releases. Is this going to be the, like, you know, instead of being a Tamashi web, there's, been, I guess, because, you know, there's like, Currently, Eric makes it more relevant in Japan. Right, right, right. Um, does this is this the direction going forward? Well, for any line? for any new content coming out, it's not like we're going to go like right to uh, a web right off the bat for the first one. Another thing that's important to note is that one of the reasons why we had it for web is to create a firewall for the U.S. market Absolutely. and 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 more importantly, I guess for Latin America and Europe, as these be were becoming strategic properties. Or Dragon Ball was. We're still on Dragon Ball, correct? Yes. Okay. Correct. So. Um, yeah, going back to that, um, one of the things that had happened, I guess, over the last year or so, is that the Dragon Ball trend has not only been increasing to this crazy level that it's at right now in the U.S., but it's actually been increasing in Japan. And so for our SH Figure Arts, so where it was, it was pretty much a minor category, it was nowhere near like SH Figure Arts Common Rider in Japan. It's and it still isn't, but it's yeah, significantly I mean, increased. Common Rider is the backbone well, of SH Figure Arts, right? But it, right, and but yeah. Dragon Ball has increased to the point where we're able to do more open market releases and, because we have the, the domestic market demand. Actually, that's great. That's great. How is the response on the Figure Arts Zero EX line so far? Great. You know that one is just, we're super excited about that. That's where we're doing more. You know, I can answer that that confidently because if it wasn't so hot, like you know maybe something known as 12 p.m that we did back in the past, yeah. you, you wouldn't see these new prototypes and the new Vegeta that we have out here. And we have plans to continue more. Now this is also for our European market too. It's not just here, the statues are big over there. Sometimes they don't like articulation as much. But um, of course. And, uh, but this is a sweet point for this market because uh, now we have this competition from Bon Presto all of a sudden, which should be sold at in UFO catchers, but is now on the market. <laughs> yeah. And this is a way for us to assert that, hey, we're not just about articulation, check out these sculpts, you know, and the EX yeah. line allows us to, to highlight detail. Yeah, it's more and, more premium than yes, definitely than yeah, the price yeah. figures. So that's, so, so this is something that you could expect more from, and I can say with confidence that we, we're not done yet. Is there any plans to expand beyond the Dragon Ball license? Yes, yes, absolutely. Anything you can share with us at the moment, or? Um, it would be a strategic character. Okay. Um, or it may be a character we've never done before that would be extremely strategic, so. Awesome. Um, the semi Naruto is, Naruto is pretty much an entirely new sculpt, and um, also it seems his cloak was omitted from his upcoming release. Right. Um, will we be getting the cloak in a later release? Yeah, we need to figure out how to do that. <laughs> okay. 
And also, what was the reason behind making an entirely new skull for Naruto? Um, were the designers unhappy with the first Naruto figure? Um, we had a change in guard, I think, in the product developer, and uh, they wanted to... The first Naruto was very, you know, I think the price point was fairly low. Yeah. Um, they, they wanted to, it, it's kind of like Dragon Ball. It's like, you know, it's it, I call it the trunks phenomenon. The first trunks we had out ever were reaching, I think, like $60 or something SRP yeah. in the beginning. And we had the two interchangeable face parts. People felt like they were getting two figures in one. Of course. Then we ended with a perfect sell. And then the brawly was just like yeah, brawly, right? Awesome. It's like, it just goes to show that, you know, maybe for this line, like not like Mario, which was, I think, is a smart decision to yeah. keep it like in the beginning really simple is we're talking about let's let's go after the core fan here and yeah. let's, let's raise the bar that said you know what are we going to do about that club we got to get it in there someday so we, we will, we'll have to think of more variations of more of, of naruto or we're raising that bar and of course other characters as well oh so this means we might get renewal for other characters like sasuke maybe in the future well sasuke i think this sculpt was we, are, we were very satisfied with that one let's put it for okay. that it wasn't that we weren't satisfied with it, it's just a naruto sculpt at all it's just that we're when we first started i think with that sculpt that we had like had a proposal and we were getting ready to do it and I think we put it on hiatus like the plan for a few years so you know we're completely we, we get outdated we outdate ourselves you know we it's like it's the same thing with Dragon Ball with our version yeah. 2 sculpts right we've got better technology we've got better manufacturing technology that said we have increased manufacturing costs so it's it's always a balance okay how's the performance of the Naruto line SHF line good good it, it's really good but um I think a lot we, of fans were concerned. Well, it was I, I kind of slow. Well, I so what the cadence on the number of that are that are coming out, right? Yeah. What we really need from the fans, and I and I keep telling the product developers back there is, they need to we need to listen to the fans. We need to hear people screaming on our door on what's the next one? What do they want? What character? You know, um, our our data had showed before that Rock Lee was a highly yes. requested one, and we had a sculpt initially, which subsequently yeah. became outdated. But uh, maybe maybe we'll. We'll take a look back at that one again, but well, what do you want? I mean, uh, oh, there's, there's a lot of characters. Yeah, there is a, a lot, lot of characters. characters. I mean, yeah. I have my own personal favorites that I'd love to do, but what do the fans want? And, and I think I've taken already like two or three polls on this. Is it all very balanced in terms of popularity? Yeah, it was similar in some ways to actually, you're right, the Power Rangers polls that we did yeah, outside of Mighty saying, Morphin. Besides Mighty Morphin, nothing, not nothing conclusive. Yeah. So we need to do it again and figure out. A, I think it, it, it's it's on us. We need to figure out a better way to poll, and then once we do that, it's on the fans. So. Okay. Um, so, what was the motivation to introduce the Saint Seiya DD Panorama Panoramation line? Why, why, why that scale? Why the four inch? Um, well, nothing's really worked outside of Saint Cloth. Yes, and, 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 and everybody likes. They all want diecast. They're insisted on the interchangeable armor parts, but uh, it wasn't. It, you know, the the cost of this is increasing to the point where the price points have just soared because of the cost of pretty much hundred dollar figures. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we've had to go to the more elaborate end. So yeah. Saint Seiya is pushing like I consider mid tier anywhere, but price point between anywhere between yeah. believe it or not twenty and ninety nine dollars. But yeah. once you get to that hundred point dollar price point, it's like you're getting yeah, that premium get scared right, off. premium price range. But again, this line, the whole development of that product line has nothing to do, and I'm sorry, with the U.S. It's completely focused on Asia, Europe, and Latin America. And I think what we're finding with this is this is working, may work quite well in Latin America. Uh, it okay. seems to be doing quite well so far. Um, many fans have been wondering about the status of the DC Injustice line. We haven't gotten any new figures beyond the first four and haven't seen any new That's ones. That's because we're working on other DC stuff right now. Oh, okay. Very, anything you can share with us? Um, come check us out at San Diego Comic Con because that's when we're going to be announced. Okay. Um, GMK was a nice, refreshing review for uh, SH Monsters fan because the first new sculpt we've gotten in a while. Um, is this because the Shin Gojira is coming out this year? Yeah, so like we were getting asked, I think, by a lot of uh, some press related to SH Monster Arts. I was answering questions. I don't know which publication or, or blog site it was, but um, I think it, you know, the, the SH Monster fan, Arts fans are pretty hardcore and they were significantly concerned over the fact that we had any recent new releases of yeah. new not, not just not just other kaiju, but I mean just Godzilla. There are so many yeah. variations of yeah, Godzilla. Absolutely. So at the time we had nothing for them. I don't I can't off the top of my head, maybe this was like six months ago. We've got more now, so uh, stay tuned for another big announcement on, on, on okay. Monster Arts. Um, the polls and the feedback, and we were just talking about the polls, has there been anything in the polls that have 
giving you guys some insight on what property you guys want to do next for Monster Arts. Oh, just just the polls in general that you guys have been collecting well, at the cons. Any friends? Yeah, friend but, I mean, I'll say it a million times. I mean, you know, I like cut off my left arm. No, I wouldn't really do that. But okay. <laughs> no, for for Pacific Rim, and okay. and I keep talking and talking and talking. Uh, Is it? About, uh, someday, hopefully, someday? it doesn't really matter. I mean, the movie got second movie got put on hold, but I don't. I, we don't really care. Of course, <laughs> I mean, we just want to show. We, love robots, we wanna. So. We just want to show NECA how it's really done. Okay. Um, and then uh, the other thing for new IP that's coming yeah, out. New IP. I can't tell you anything, okay. but I can tell you we will have a lot at San Diego. Awesome, awesome. Um, Digimon, how was the performance? Sorry. Do you, want to, do you want to explain just what happened? Like, oh. I have no clue. Some guy just <laughs> rolled off the bike. Well, it's Toy Fair, and somebody has a bike that apparently also makes noise, and <laughs> that's one function of a bike, apparently. Yeah. Okay, D Digimon, how is it performing? I know great, it's one of the strategic great, properties good, in the good. US. It is a strategic. I mean, it's not at the level of Dragon Ball, but it, it, I, can, I can tell you without a doubt it's increasing or improving sales. Okay, and uh, um, you guys are doing the human characters now in the S I think Art Zero line. Has a response been good of those? What, what's that? The Figure Art Zero Digimon human characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The response has been good all okay. around. E everything happening with Digimon right now is, is good. Okay. How's the performance of the Metal Build line in the US? Great. It, it, it's, it's a die cast line. There's not enough yeah. supply for demand. So I see. I guess it's good. <laughs> okay. Is there any chance we can probably, I remember we talked about in the past, get. Um, Get uh, metal build exclusives in the U.S. No, we talk not about? Gonna, no, not going to happen. Never uh, going to happen. Well, it may if we ever open up a Tamashi Web um, way for, for consumers to buy it from Tamashi Web yeah. uh, in the U.S. How was the success of the Grandizer? I remember you guys offered Grandizer Spacer for it, U.S. It, it was a beta. That, that it was, was a beta the, Yeah, it was just a beta. It was just uh, let's let's work on an interface sort of thing. Okay. Same way okay. we did it. We had a um, Tony Tony Chopper on that thing too. I, I think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Big Art Zero. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think. It's just a beta. Okay, any more uh, Proplica news you could tell us? Mm -hmm. Mostly focused on Sailor Moon for now? Yeah, I don't really have anything. There was Psychopath, but yeah. Um, or Pass, sorry. Psychopath, yeah, yeah Psychopath. The Dominator. Uh, Dominator, yeah. Um, no, nothing really for that right now. Um, I mean, we would do Power Ranger stuff, but it seems like uh, my colleagues at Bandai America oh, have got yeah. that covered, so yeah. no need. <laughs> How's the response been on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles SHF? Awesome. Yeah, that was okay. the, that's the highlight of the show, beyond a doubt. Okay. I mean, that, we opened solicitation for that here. The other ones we opened up, or pre-orders went open, sorry, not just solicitation, pre-orders, was uh, Black Lady, SH Figure Arts, oh, Sailor nice. Moon, okay. uh, the 2001 Godzilla, SH Monster Arts, and we were talking about the Figure Arts Zero EX and how else doing, but the, uh, the Veggie Dead that we have over here. So, um, what was that? One, two, three, four, those four are the biggies that because we just they just went up on pre-order uh, last friday like okay. the day before yeah. san diego the great thing about working in the collector's category is you know how something's going to do like 12 hours in so <laughs> uh, our sources at certain uh e-commerce sites let us know how well turtles are doing so what was the motivation to get the license i've been working on it for five years oh wow okay uh and uh you know, it's it's a no-brainer. That's it. It's, okay. at the, it's at the top of like MPD market data for traditional yeah. toy, and we know what playmates were doing and what they weren't doing, and we know that they do stuff and people buy it, and and that's fine if it's in a blister and that's great. You know, it's there's no pretension there that this is an awesome like high-tech, you know, articulated yeah. figure. And people go out there to mass and you know over 50 and they buy it. And that's super cool, but we know there's going to be something lacking for the core consumer who wants the articulation. So we're all about classic with that, and we wanted to do classic. We weren't even interested in the Michael Bay films. And what does it mean for the you know other U.S. licenses? Obviously, these Ninja Turtles are aimed towards mostly a North American market. Right, right. There's more to come with that, and it's you'll be happy to see a lot of stuff, maybe, okay. or not a lot of stuff, but one one big addition we will have at uh, and maybe more along the lines on your DC question uh, okay. at. at um, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, right. And for Sailor Moon, um, we know we're getting super forms of the other scouts outside of Sailor Moon. Um, are we getting other characters as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so we have the you know Black Lady as yeah, the enemy. Black Lady. I think it all depends on how this one goes. And so okay. far, it seems to be going very well. You know, we're we, like turtles. We know how things are doing. With, with that how is it doing? In the, is it is it anywhere near well. Dragon Ball or what? Uh, or Sailor Moon SHF? Yeah, oh well, Sailor Moon's always been a, our number two. Like okay. Dragon Ball. And in some 
in some category, in one category, in um, Tomashi Buddies, yeah. in some in some areas, we we see even in, like more people buying Sailor Moon, and I think the Buddies we're we're seeing, um, yeah, it just worked really well for for Sailor Moon. Okay. Um, some markets, believe it or not, I was surprised to, to see like uh, Germany that Sailor Moon is more popular than Dragon Ball. So like wow. I go Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon here. But again, Sailor Moon's always been a close second and in some venues and for some categories, we sometimes see it move more quantities than Dragon Ball. The figure art zero line's been doing pretty well then, I'm assuming. For Sailor for Moon? For both Dra Sailor Moon well, and we Dragon Ball. Princess Serenity, we have it. That's one okay. of the few glimpses of the future that we have here because, you know. That's so we're going for more elaborate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like the Dragon Ball one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see more on there. Uh, are we ever going to get that? Uh... Uh, so there's another bike going by with <laughs> that's also a noisemaker. It's a noisemaker bike. If they're trying to sell it, it nobody's going to buy it. <laughs> um, are we going to? We haven't got Gohan in the SH, the SH, um, the Figure Art Zero line for Dragon Ball yet. Anything? Anything you tell us about that? Sure, I'm sure it'll come out someday. Okay, right? of course. And um, what's the direction, the aim for um, Tamashii Nations in 2016? Uh, the aim for Tanashi Nations in 2016 is uh, to be even more hands-on than we are right now. And we're always going to be a Japanese import brand. If we ever diverge from that, we'll lose our identity. But um, I think we have to work more locally. If, you're, if your viewership is, is mostly U.S., uh, but for any Western market for that matter, uh, we, we are working with a, a network transparently with a network of agents. But I think we need to be like more on the ground floor here with you guys. Um, to address your needs and get the feedback from you. Product surveys, more surveys, more okay. feedback. All right. You're asking me questions, but we really need to ask you yeah. guys more questions. So that's, ask 2000, you guys questions. So that's 2016, big question mark to you. <laughs> so Anything it. you want to tell our fans? Uh, thanks you know, uh, for, for sticking with us. And um, again, I guess there's going to be comments written. Um, Rather than complaints, requests, can I just send, requests, can requesting I just send questions, it over to you? requesting questions. Can I just send sure. it all over oh, of to you? course, absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, well, thanks man. a lot, Adam. Yeah, thanks a lot for everything, cool. man. Appreciate all it. Right. Requesting questions. Can I just send sure. it all over oh, to you? Oh, of course, absolutely. Okay. Hannah, I prefer if you send it to Hannah, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. But yeah, I'll just, I'll just, she's a. We'll yeah, yeah, no, 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 but but no, of course we can talk more about MMA. Of course, too. that would be a good license, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, you, you certain yeah. fighters probably do pretty well. Yeah, in Japan. I mean, Ronda Rousey with over nine thousand oh, T-shirt yeah. as she appeared in WWE. Oh, yeah. I'd love to do that. Like one. a crossover. Like yeah, a crossover. yeah, yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. cool. That'd be cool. Hello once again my friends, this is Emia Starlock. It brings me great pleasure today to share with you about our upcoming JPI live podcast. Yeah, I know, you're probably thinking about, wow, another damn live podcast? And yeah, I can't deny that there's a ton out there. But if you love Japanese and Asian import toys, anime, manga, Japanese video games, and other related stuff, then I would say that there's definitely a lot on here going to be on our show that you're probably not going to want to miss. Some of the things include special guests heated discussion about all kinds of topics, and best of all, prizes once in a while. Do yourself a favor and definitely don't miss it. The launch is upon us and we will announce the details soon, the date, everything. Yeah, I know it's been a while and I've been MIA along with the rest of the staff. But please believe in us, we're definitely here to stay and we are excited to hang out with all of you live. We're definitely not going anywhere. So if you're here, subscribe. Check us out. There's a lot of new content coming soon, so please don't miss it. Thank you very much, and hope to see you all there.